Wood threading is a fairly simple operation. Uh, the number one consideration is that the dowel or the round stock be just slightly undersized. Uh, I'm going to be doing an inch and a half thread here and so you definitely want it to be a little under an inch and a half so that it will move smoothly. And if it's any bit oversized the thing will jam and you could even break your cutter. And I'll put some oil, any kind of oil um, will make the cutting easier. Put the thread on there as you can see it is a little bit undersized. And then it's uh, you know steady pressure down. but I can uh, set the cutter a little stronger and try again. So we're going to adjust this guy. The first thing you need to do is you need to take the wooden guide off the front. You remove the guide and here you can see the cutter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this acorn nut on the other opposite side and then I'm going to shift this knife. Now because I'm not taking a deep enough cut, I'm going to shift the knife this way, which will give me a deeper cut. If my threads were getting destroyed during the process, then this would be too strong, and then I would move it back. So I put a little mark on that knife from my last position. You can't see it on the video. It's there. So just a little turn, and then gently feel it. Move finger tighten, wrench tighten, and then reassemble. Now, when you rethread a rod, you need to remember where you started, so you start in the same place. And that's it. Now, when you want to tap the hole, you drill the hole a little undersized. And this is an inch and a half uh, tap, so it's going to an inch and three-eighths hole. And the way you can determine how uh, wide your hole should be is you uh, mic the uh, beginning of the tap. So just like with the threading section, a little lubricant will uh, make it go easier, especially on the end grain section. And then the other little trick is to not just drive the tap all the way through, is to drive it a couple turns and then back up a little bit to let the chips fall out. So you want to hold the Tommy bar as straight as possible. We're almost there. Then the whole thing will come through the end. Take our threaded bit, and there we go.